So here we are in Khazar camp, which is in the northern part of Iraq. And we are here to uh, open up a child-friendly space for the children of uh, IDPs coming from Mosul. Um, some are even coming from Tikrit, which is in Salah Hadin. They have uh, traveled for, for days and weeks um, and have finally arrived in the IDP camp here. I think the individuals and the families that have actually arrived into this camp are the most vulnerable of the IDPs. They're, they don't have family connections in Kurdistan, nor do they have family connections in other parts of Iraq. So they have no other choice to but come to this camp. As you can see in the background, this is not a setting where you want to live for months on end, not knowing if, you, if and when you can go back to your home. So I think what we need to do as Save the Children is provide some kind of normality to the children's lives so that they can play and forget for two hours, if it is, that they are not part of this displaced in this, um, this displaced community or, uh, uh, you know, affected by this conflict. Their biggest needs is food, water, hygiene kits, um, the basic things to survive in a camp setting, as you can see, um, and also probably um, a type of air filtration because as you can see it's 40 degrees right now it's hot it's windy it's a uh, it's not a condition where people can survive um, day to day uh, without some kind of air filtration so at save the children we are working with unicef in a strategic partnership to open up uh, child-friendly spaces and also provide case management for children that have been uh, separated from their families and we are um, seeking to also work in areas in central Iraq which is a very marginalized population that no other actors are really working in besides Save the Children. We're working um, to help people that have been uh, uh, displaced in Salah Hadin, in Diyala, in Kirkuk, and of course in the Nineveh province in places where people are not being reached. The numbers are basically, if you combine the IDPs from Ambar that have started in December 2013, along with the Musul IDPs, we're talking about 1 to 1.2 million people that have been displaced in Iraq so far since January or December of last, uh, of last year. Absolutely. So we, our target is to reach 200,000 beneficiaries in the next six months um, by providing food, water, hygiene kits, shelter kits, and also by providing a, a friendly child family place for children um, in this kind of IDP setting. What we need to do is we need to come together, we need to coordinate amongst ourselves as international um, humanitarian actors, and we also need to um, look at our investments into Iraq again. Um, because of the uh, situation in Iraq, because of foreign interventions, this is sometimes uh, where we're at, and I think we need to ask uh, donors and we need to ask the international community to relook at uh, prioritizing Iraq because it will turn into another Syria if we don't um, put our priority onto Iraq now. They need to be protected, whatever the case may be in terms of the politics that go behind this, is that they need to be protected, that citizens should absolutely not be um, targeted in any case in, in this conflict at all, or nor they, should they be a bypass uh, or should they be uh, after effect on, on the conflict, that we need to focus on the people on the ground. How do we get them to safety? How do we prevent conflict within civilian settings?